SGX listed futures are another opportunity for traders to profit whether markets are rising or falling. They allow you to access markets overseas and with less money than buying the underlying asset. Hello, I'm Mark Laudy, and in the special series brought to you by the SGX Academy, we'll look at the benefits of futures. We'll take you through how futures work and the role they play in your portfolio. We'll check on the risks involved. We'll look at the differences between futures and other types of derivatives such as warrants and options. We'll look through the most popular contracts listed on the Singapore Exchange and we'll show you how to get started. We also have a special episode for you looking at the history of futures. Futures allow you to buy or sell an asset at a future date at today's price. You make or lose money on the difference between that price in the future and the price that it is today. This agreement is called a contract and it binds both sides to its terms. The benefits of this are first, leverage. You don't have to have the full contract value of the underlying asset in your bank account. Think of the initial payment as a deposit, a down payment on the settlement in the future. This initial outlay is just a small proportion. The capital efficiency allows you to invest the rest of your money in other assets. Gains and losses are amplified by leverage. Something we'll come back to again when we talk about risk later on in the series. Second, you can make money even when markets go down. Now, in all investments, you want to buy low and sell high. Futures contracts allow you to do that in reverse. Here's how it works. Let's say you believe the contract is going to rise. In other words, you're going long. That's what they call it in the jargon. So over here, this is when you buy the contract. And over here, perhaps uh, days, weeks, months, or even just a few hours or minutes later, you sell once it's risen. If you think, though, that the value of the contract is going to go down, you sell the contract here first at today's price, and you buy it back at a cheaper price once the hoped for decline has actually taken place. So, as I was saying, you buy low and you sell high. Third, you can get exposure to broad markets. Now, unlike stock picking, where you buy one asset at a time, futures allow you to track the value of a whole market or index. Fourth, you can hedge a physical position. What that means is that you can protect your portfolio from declines by selling a futures contract on the same asset. Say you own Singapore stocks and you're worried about a market correction, but you don't want to sell your stocks. Selling the Simsky futures contract allows you to benefit when the price falls, thereby offsetting losses on your actual stock holdings. Fifth, you can gain easy access to overseas markets. Now, SGX listed futures contracts allow you to gain exposure to overseas markets, which would otherwise be very difficult to tap into from Singapore. There are equities futures contracts giving you exposure to China, India, Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Europe, the Asia Pacific, as well as Singapore. There are also futures on bonds, currencies and interest rates, and commodities futures tracking coffee, rubber, palm oil, fuel oil, gold, copper, aluminium and zinc. The SGX website has full details. Sixth, make your assets work harder. You can put up existing cash, foreign exchange and other assets as collateral for your margin account. How those accounts and futures in general work is the subject of the next episode in the series. For more information, attend SGX Academy's professional futures trading course or contact a derivatives broker to open your account to trade.